So if you look real carefully, you can see the where the bullet is uh, seated into the cartridge, right there, right there, and right there. I know it's kind of tough. It almost looks like there's a little ring around there. This one you can barely see it. And this one is uh, right there. That's a pretty deep one. So that's what I'm up against. So I originally dealt with the issue with uh, the seating die. This is uh, Lee seating die. Here's the original bullet seating uh, part of the die. And then I made uh, one with aluminum. And then I made one with uh, plastic when the aluminum really didn't solve the problem. When that really wasn't solving the problem, I decided to look at the expansion dies. Now this is a RCBS expansion die. This is the original Lee uh, expansion uh, part of the die. And then this is the one I made to solve the problem. Uh, it looks pretty terrible. I made a bunch of different sizes and did some experiments. And the one I goofed up the most here, you can see it's not highly polished, is actually the correct measurement to uh, fix the problem that I wanted to fix. These are all the uh, dummy rounds that I make up uh, to help me set up the dies with. I pulled all the bullets out of them. Uh, as you can see, they all have some sort of a uh, little bit of damage on them from where they've been seated, uh, except maybe the XTP. That's, that's flat like that, uh, normal. But as you can see, uh, the lead really does become damaged as uh, I tried to do different things uh, by using the uh, plastic pusher to push it down as opposed to the original uh, which definitely would damage them. Uh, even the uh, uh, metal one, the aluminum one I made, you know, that would that would actually damage the copper part of the bullet if it even uh, fit on there to begin with. So here are the uh, expansion dies. This is the uh, RCBS. This is the original Lee, and this is the one I made. I made some in different sizes. You can see I really kind of goofed that up. I dragged the uh, cutter across there after I had sized it correctly. <laughs> Unbelievable. But anyway, so I feel I've solved the problem. And the reason I feel I solved the problem is if you look at the uh, RCBS, you can see that it's 352. Now the bullets are 357 and as you move up to where it flares the bullet, where it starts to expand it is 357 the same thing with the uh, Lee dies it's also flared it starts off pretty small 355 and then as it uh, approaches the flaring part of the tool it uh, expands however uh, that's a very short distance, so the depth is very small. The expansion depth. Now what I've done here, I made mine 358. See, it's showing 357 and a half. So 357, 358, and a depth. The 358 is the entire depth. And then uh, it'll begin to flare as it collides with the uh, wider area. So I've inserted the expander all the way down to where it starts to flare. So I'll go ahead and remove that. And then I'll show you the issue I have, and that's with the RCBS die. So my point here is, with the RCBS die, unless you flare it, the bullet will not go into the case. So with the flare, it'll only sit down the amount of the flare. 
and that's pretty much the same thing with the um, with the lead dies too you can uh, expand them it's a little bit tight here but after you expand them you'll have the same issue and since it won't go down into the cartridge now I have to take my customized seating die parts or the originals doesn't matter and now I need to force that bullet down I'm actually not only seating it but I'm expanding it and all of that force is causing my bulging issues so now let me take that same cartridge and put it in uh, put my new piece in that was made uh, one mil over the uh, bullet diameter so I'll go ahead and run it through I'm using the Lee expansion die with the part that I made now I can insert the bullet and I don't have to push as far. Now I can adjust it so that when I push the bullet in it goes closer to the uh, crimping ring. Uh, but I just uh, went down a small depth just to show you the uh, difference. Here I'll, I'll go ahead and run it through again at a deeper depth so here it is at a little bit of a deeper depth see uh, it's actually just hitting the flat where it starts to flare it so now when I push the bullet in when I use my pushers whether it's my plastic one or my aluminum one uh, I only have to push it a little ways to get uh, the crimp ring lined up so that I can crimp it down tight and I don't have to push the entire bullet length because your heavier bullets it was originally here your heavier bullets would have to go all the way in with the bullet seating tool whether it's Lee or anyone else's and now since I've expanded it already it's just gonna slide right in and also there's no bulge in there now I realize not everyone has a lathe so you know you can't just go around willy-nilly making parts for yourself however if you're having the issue that I'm having well then that's your problem is the uh, diameter of the expansion inside the casing just the initial expansion length and area is just insufficient now you can use your bullet seating die to push it all the way down into place but as you can see that's quite a distance and you need to go slowly if you don't go slowly you're gonna bulge it and actually you're gonna bulge it anyway so I hope this video helped I don't know how to solve your problem if you don't have a lathe or access to someone who could uh, make you this part uh, it's basically 357 and then uh, the diameter needed to get it in your uh, at least my Lee factory die or if you have something like RCBS that's even more complicated I don't know how you'd make this whole piece all threaded and then that that's a lot of work there uh, that's why I like Lee dies because I can solve problems like this. I hope this video helped you identify some of the solutions to the problems you've been having. I don't know how to help you if you don't have a lathe or access to a machine shop or machinery or whatnot like that. But you want to make this about 358, 357, somewhere in there. Make it the same as your bullet diameter and expand the inside of your case to that value and then you want to go to a depth that will allow the bullet to go in to the crimping ring and that'll relieve your uh, seating dies from having to do all the work and bulge your cases so let me do one more just to show you right in place no more damaged 
bullets like this one was. I hope I helped you fix a problem that you were having or at least identifying the cause of the problem if you're having the same bulging issues that I have. And this really kind of happens on really the bigger, heavier bullets, uh, especially these uh, 158 grains and 357. Uh, this also was happening on my 44 Magnums. Uh, not so much on my um, automatic 9mm, 380, 45. They really weren't uh, having the issues I was having with my um, revolver rounds. So this might not apply to you guys, uh, to the majority of you, I should say. But uh, if you are having a bulging issue, it's probably because the case is not being opened enough to let the uh, bullet seat in there and your bullet seating die is doing all of the work by pushing the bullet into the case and also expanding the case at the same time.